dark curtain descends, a mysterious presence is lurking in the gloom, reaching out with invisible hands. Aha! If only the Mahoney twins were alive to see this. Huh? What's that? Don't you remember your old friend Weasel? But you're dead. I've come back, and I have a little something for you. No! Shh! Quiet, you two. I'm receiving some sort of signal. A warning. A cry for assistance. It's no good. I'm losing contact. What is it, Mr. Z? I wonder if we'll ever know. Hi, pal. I see you're still hard at work on the midget murders. Is there no hope? Actually, Forbes, I have a question for you. Have you ever seen this man? Ah, uh, Weasel. You're back. Any luck? Yes, but I have something to add. There's been a change in plans. What's in the package? You'll find out. But first, I must say this. Tonight at the costume party, I advise you to abandon your plans to come dressed as a rooster. What? But why? The costume was designed by an expert. And it is at the dress. Inspector Payne, that's not a very interesting costume. Ah, oh, my dear Mr. Potemkin, you, on the other hand, are exceptionally bizarre. Thank you, but I believe that guy in the rooster getup has stolen the show. Did you say rooster getup? Where is he? I must speak with him. Would you like some punch? You poor fool. Don't you know who I am? You didn't answer my question. I've traveled halfway around the world and waited four long years for this moment. Ah, satisfaction. Hello. Yes. Very good. Everything is proceeding according to plan. <laughs> If only the Mahoney twins were alive to see this. Have you ever seen this man? It's no good. I'm losing contact. Ah, satisfaction. of financial and amorous considerations. Imbecile, I just heard the radio reports. You killed the wrong man. Ah, weasel. Did you decipher the Arab's cryptic last words? Never mind that. I just got another anonymous tip. What do you suggest? Murder. Another five minutes and I'll be packed and out of here. Hey, what gives? Easy, sister. I'm Inspector Payne. What do you want, Flatfoot? Questions answered. But Mr. Z, all these murders, is it right to go sightseeing while killers are loose? Patience, my dear. I feel we are about to come full circle. Okay, Z. Stand still while I plug you. Sorry, that's not my style. Mr. Z, what was that all about? I'm not sure, my dear. But I sense that all these activities are being controlled by invisible hands reaching out of the darkness. Shall we negotiate a price? 
Good. You'll see me at midnight. Excellent. It won't be long now, my pet. Okay, sister. The man you shot was an international assassin himself. But what I want to know is why. I hired him to kill the creep who murdered my brother. But I got in over my head. I found myself being pulled into a web of intrigue, some sort of evil conspiracy. I had to get away. Okay, you may be of some help to us, miss. Call me Lila. Ah, the postman is coming. Admit him, my dear. Gosh, Mr. Z, you were right. It's a package for you. Is it important? It's a message from a dead man. in over my head. <laughs> Pretty baffling case, huh, Inspector Payne? I'll bet you're just going nuts trying to figure it all out. Say, why don't you try calling in Mr. Z, the occult investigator? He's helped you before. Didn't he unravel the mystery of the missing bride? And he solved the secret of the stuttering skull. Maybe he'll spy the solution to this mystery in his crystal cube. Oh, do try to be rational, Forbes. He just got lucky. What is it, Mr. Z? Another clue, my dear. Can we help you? Yes, I would like to exchange this. Look, boss, he has the clock. I see, Crowley. You like it? It has some wonderful features. Our eyes. He has our eyes, boss. We've waited 40 years to get them back. Yes, I ingeniously deciphered a rather sticky code. It suggested I bring the appliance to this address. Quite so. We made a promise years ago. We've been storing a certain package to give to whoever brought the clock back to us. Ah, yes. Otto, take this package to this address. It means a king's ransom for us. <laughs> Thanks to all these fools doing the dirty work for me, soon it will be mine. <laughs> Baffling case, huh, Inspector Payne? Another clue, my dear. Our eyes. I certainly don't remember ordering this. Welcome, Inspector Payne. Z, I need your help. Yes, the enigma that has you befuddled has entangled me as well. I believe I may be of some help to you. This is a dictionary of secret societies and super criminals who've never been brought to justice. Sent to me by a man who recently came to an untimely end. He had marked a certain entry. Years ago, there was a supremely evil master criminal named Red Bones. He ruled the Bay Area Wharf District, kept it in a state of fear. He wore a ring with a huge priceless jewel set in it which he never removed. Eventually, he was captured by a rival gang. Before they executed him, they cut off his hand, ring and all, and placed it in a jewel-encrusted box. The superstitious leader of the rival gang believed that the ring was the source of Red Bone's evil power, and he intended to keep it locked away forever. 
Stories began to circulate that the hand was cursed. Tales were told that the hand crawled out of the box at night and strangled all enemies of Red Bones and their descendants. The box, containing the now mummified hand, fell into the possession of a secret society of one-handed criminals who kept it as their talisman. But during World War II, it disappeared and has been in the possession of private collectors ever since, many of whom have met with strange, unexplained deaths. That's quite a story. I wonder who has the hand now. Gosh, what am I going to do with this weird thing? There's no return address. Excuse me, that belongs to me. It was delivered to you by accident. You will hand it over now. I need your help. Yes, the enigma that has you befuddled has entangled me as well. You will hand it over now. This time, I deliver it myself. There he is, the man who killed my brother. Yours is in trouble. Where? It's beginning to become clear. At last, the power of our secret society will be restored. The hand of red bones possesses strange and extraordinary powers. You're a smart guy, whoever you are. You manipulated a lot of patsies into doing your work for you, and most of them are dead, including my brother. <laughs> Insignificant insects. Behold. It moves. Hold it. Drop that hand. Allow me to kill the intruder's mastermind. I don't take kindly to attempts on my life. Ah. Come on, Lila. I'm coming. I've had enough of this annoying interruption. That sufficiently wraps up this case, eh, Mr. Z? Perhaps.